he once tweeted, this D good as hell? It's been in front of our eyes this whole time. Now DJ Academics went ahead and ran with the assumption that Meek was the mystery person in all this mess. And let's just say Meek wasn't too pleased about it. Academics didn't, I tell you, stop playing with my name. It what I'm do when I actually see you. It's going to have a combination to it, though. Meek found have just gone from bad to worse for Diddy. And now not only is he being accused of misconduct, but his son is being accused. Now, his son, Christian King Combs, he's only 26 years old, and he was named in a lawsuit by a young woman, 25 year old named Grace, who was working on a yacht in December 2022 when she says that Christian Combs uh, assaulted her that that it was my behavior was focused towards women it was i was carefree in front of groups and crowds of people if you see on that footage of me kissing the waitress i also kissed male bartenders i was high-fiving people going with bottle, bottle service for the countless time sean diddy combs has been hit by another major scandal as actor cuba gooding has sued him for leaking his making love tape so from Jay Z, just so she don't get implicated. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to uh, attach herself from Jay Z's hairstyle because she know that she can get implicated. So if yeah, she get uh, up. Put some tapes that got her in it too. It makes sense. I was going to the brunch right and they canceled that whole baby. Y'all need to. on hundreds of millions from music. It's not a coincidence. We all gay and snitches. They are powering this stuff even if it's fake. The goal is to disrupt the hip-hop community. I own this music that dropped Tamar Play It. Then Meek was caught red-handed following a Twitter page that's all about gay content. I mean, come on, you can't make this stuff up. Then he tries to backpedal and unfollow the page once he realizes he's been caught, but it's too late. The internet never forgets. He said, I would never follow a gay page if y'all real people and letting these computer control y'all minds y'all done done. But guess what the fans replied? Nah, we got you on video you can't hide. And are we forgetting he won tweeted this d good as hell it's like meeks playing a game of how many red flags can i raise in one day now the drama just hit a whole new level and it's got everyone shook to the core someone leaked an audio clip of meek and diddy getting down on business you know what i mean that had people shook to the core i could have went the rest of my life without hearing this and if this is actually real this is insane but let's break it down according to diddy's former bodyguard not gene deal this whole thing went down at one of diddy's parties where the champagne was flowing and things got wild comes a time when you're in a situation that may seem like a good situation but if you're not waking up happy or if you disrupt or you really don't want to be around that person you find every excuse to get out of there and i got diabetes everyone passed out except for diddy meek and the bodyguard who decided to play detective and caught the whole thing on tape everybody was passed out yo diddy had that man in the room look yes i put my ear to the door and i brought the phone because diddy started going in overdrive i ain't know what was going on but i just heard balls slapping against cheeks i heard struggling to take I heard it being like, yeah, daddy, daddy when, when I when, when he started call, all that daddy this and daddy that, and then I heard some hollering and struggling, like, yeah, I kept the phone there and I recorded all this. It's like a scene straight out of a wild movie, and it's got everyone's jaws on the floor. Gene Deal, on the other hand, has been spilling all the tea, and it's hotter than ever. I can believe that. I believe it's a lot of rappers, a lot of music people, a lot of executives that could not say no. Meek Mill's name might have been redacted in the paperwork, but let's keep it real. Everyone knew who they were talking about. To that, because first of all, it had Meek Mills, it had Stevie J, they had redacted their names, and they had Usher, and they redacted their names and just said, a uh, performer of the Super Bowl and a Philly rapper. It's like when you see two people in the industry dressing alike more than once, you gotta raise an eyebrow, you feel me? Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion, they know my listen here, man. My dudes in Philly, I got some real strong dudes in Philly. They don't play that shit. And they probably embarrassed for the fact to see that Meek Mills, one of the street guys that came out of there, got caught up in this Hollywood shit. This Hollywood shit. Whereas that he's dressing like he dressing the same sh he dressing like Diddy hugged up with Diddy. I think that Lil Rock know a lot of sh but I know this: two men dressing like it's flesh like two men laying down when they both get up. <laughs> They both homos. <laughs>
And that's real talk, bro. And you know what? He's got a point. It's like, if you're dressing like Diddy, you might as well be his clone. Yes, there's an actual photo of them rocking matching outfits. And the fans are having a field day with it, too. They are never escaping the allegations now. And someone else analyzed the photo deeper, saying, All I'm gonna say is I know feminine energy when I see it. And Meek's body language towards Diddy is giving off a submissive, this my man type of vibe. And the overall energy he's projecting is feminine. The fact that they're wearing matching outfits, presenting themselves as one energy like a boyfriend and girlfriend would, doesn't... When you got meat meal money, girl starts calling you sir, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, man. I'm telling you. Bro. I just pray my daughter is not one of them ones there. Uh, okay, man. not Cause... daughter, but this leads me on to my next, my next question. Whose missus was there? Someone's missus was there. 16 man! Someone's that could missus potentially be 16 man was there. Was lurking. Someone's <laughs> missus was sucking breast that night. The one that was crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 100% someone. But, but there's, there's probably, I'm guaranteed there's five others. That's fucked. Someone's missus was there sucking breast and eating salt. <laughs> That's what they were doing that night. Bro. And the man they probably still don't even know. To this oh day. Oh god. That's they'll never find out. Cause you know when you go around artists and that, you're not allowed no phones in that. They say no phones, lock your phones away, you don't know. End yeah, up on yeah. yeah. Block pages and that. So it's crazy. Women are scary, man. Where was your missus that night? <laughs> you talk to yourself. This was wrong, Facebook. This this was wrong, Facebook, and y'all know it. This was not right. And y'all need to be stopped. Them folks said this was Mick Mills caught in the basement in a cage when the officers raided P. Diddy house. Why would y'all say that? Why would y'all even... Why y'all doing Mick Mills like that? This is not funny. He once tweeted, this D good as hell? It's been in front of our eyes this whole time. Now, DJ Academics went ahead and ran with the assumption that Meek was the mystery person in all this mess. And let's just say Meek wasn't too pleased about it. Academics didn't, I tell you, stop playing with my name. It what I'ma do when I actually see you. It's gonna have a combination to it, though. Meek found himself in a heated exchange with Andrew Tate, too. Tate commented on Meek's accusations, saying, so P. Diddy was having f***s with Meek Mill and Usher. Meek didn't hold back, firing back with, was you trafficking women? TF wrong with you, Brody? In response to Tate's tweet. But Tate wasn't done yet. He replied, I only asked a question because everyone is saying it happened. It's true or not? And Meek never replied again. And then he went on with more tweets, denying what was said about him. I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky molly nobody won't even offer me coke because i'm that heavy no man or what would ever approach me about activity and the whole place don't get flipped woke up seeing this on every blog like they know i'm coming lol that's why i always come around all these industry and gas with my real friends you never catch me around anybody from the industry alone you can't even hold a convo without my dog stepping in the room it's been that way i can't till y'all find out i'm the illest in this shit lol in conclusion he wrote the two things they say we snitching or we we generating one hundreds of millions from music, it's not a coincidence, we all and snitches. They are powering this stuff, even if it's fake. The goal is to disrupt the hip hop community. I own this music that dropped Tamar Play It. Meek isn't the only one strongly denying these allegations. Diddy's lawyer is also working full time to make this whole thing disappear. She's also calling Lil Rod a liar seeking a payday. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday, Holly said. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. This year has been lethal for Diddy and he's bringing down all these artists with him. They probably thought no one would ever find out. They they were wrong. Now the whole world knows, and fans are having a field day with this new Meek Mill information. They're making memes like Meek Mill pulling up at Diddy's house. And look at this video of Diddy calling Meek Daddy. Okay, son. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Fans are finally putting the pieces together. It's all making sense now why this, why Diddy called Meek Mill daddy. It all makes sense now. Now the question remains, did he or did he not? Is what's being said about Meek Mill true?
And when he started all that daddy this and daddy that, and then I heard some hollering and struggling like, yeah, I kept the phone there. It seems the rumors swirling around Meek Mill being more than just friends with Diddy have taken a jaw-dropping leap. You might have heard that a disturbing piece of audio is circulating in the industry, and let's say that it captured Meek in a compromising encounter with Diddy, which left the rapper in a state of shock and pain. Remember when whispers started floating around about Meek playing the role of Diddy's new favorite toy? It wasn't long ago that these murmurs started making rounds, painting Meek as the latest victim of Diddy's producing, if you know what I mean. Despite Meek's denials and his attempts to silence the chatter, the truth found a way of screaming its way to the surface. And Scream It did with evidence so compelling, it's left everyone in shock. What is going on in that audio, bro? I'm trying to see if I identify voices. I already identified both voices, bro. <laughs> Diddy is reportedly dodging the long arm of the law, taking refuge in the Caribbean, all while his empire back home faces a storm. With federal agents storming his residence in search of damning evidence, and his sons, Justin and Christian, finding themselves in handcuffs, the drama surrounding Diddy has taken a wild turn, and he doesn't need more scandals to surface. But it's not just about Diddy's legal woes. The spotlight unexpectedly shifted towards Meek Mill, exposing his intimate relationship with the disgraced music mogul. To add fuel to the fire, there was a recent bombshell revelation from Diddy's ex-bodyguard, only proved what freakish audio tape was suggesting. I don't even want to get too much into it because I don't know, it's that controversial, you know, like it's it's crazy right now. Meek's status as Diddy's special friend has raised a lot of eyebrows in the music industry, and it seems like when faced with undeniable evidence of their secret rendezvous, Meek Mill has reportedly broke down, seeing more insiders coming forward with similar accusations of him getting special treatment from the music mogul. It all began with the music producer named Lil Rod, who has thrust Diddy into the center of a scandalous lawsuit, accusing him of essay and implicating a bunch of other big names, including Young Miami, Usher, and finally, Meek Mill, as Diddy's essay victims. According to Lil Rod, Diddy offered career boosts in Hollywood for intimate favors, with Meek allegedly among those who took the bait. That fast. It was, it was, it was super good, but it was a little bit too much for me. I ain't go to sleep for two days after. This LaTeX lawsuit is like a Pandora's box of accusations, with hints dropped about Meek's and Usher's involvement in activities that would make even the most seasoned tabloid reader blush. And while Rod wanted to avoid pointing fingers in his lawsuits, vaguely describing the victim as he is a rapper from Philadelphia who dated Nicki Minaj, it didn't take much for the social media detective to connect the dots. From the leaked audio that seems to confirm Meek and Diddy's secret relationship to the lawsuit that reads like a who's who of entertainment industry scandal, this story is far from over. It opens a new explosive chapter of exploration scandal and special services that reigned in the industry for so long. Yeah, I'll be back to talk about it real soon though. After these rumors started spreading like wildfire, Meek Mill jumped onto Twitter to fiercely defend himself. He posted a bunch of messages trying to set the record straight. While Wright's credibility has been called into question, her accusations have added fuel to the already blazing fire of speculation surrounding the Carter's marriage. But what about Beyonce's own ambitions and career aspirations? With a thriving empire spanning music, fashion, and philanthropy, could Queen Bey be plotting her next move behind the scenes? Some insiders suggest that a divorce from Jay-Z could pave the way for Beyonce to take full control of her brand and image, free from the shadow of her husband's scandals. As speculation swirls around the fate of Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage, a new, more ominous cloud looms on the horizon. Recent revelations suggest that Beyonce might have more than just her reputation to worry about. If federal investigators uncover enough evidence, both Diddy and Jay-Z could be facing serious charges under the RICO Act. Man, I ain't gonna lie. But what exactly is the RICO Act, and why does it spell trouble for these two music moguls? According to legal experts, the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO, is a federal law designed to combat organized crime. Originally intended to target mafia organizations, RICO has since been expanded to cover a wide range of criminal enterprises, including sex trafficking. With allegations swirling around Diddy and Jay-Z's involvement in a potential sex trafficking ring, the application of the RICO Act could spell disaster for both men. If convicted under RICO, they could face hefty fines and lengthy prison sentences, effectively ending their careers in the music industry. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. But the implications of a RICO charge extend far beyond just Diddy and Jay-Z, with the possibility of multiple individuals being implicated in the investigation. The fallout could be catastrophic for the entire entertainment industry. From producers to artists to executives, no one would be safe from the long arm of the law if federal prosecutors decide to pursue RICO charges. As the investigation continues to unfold behind closed doors, the specter of Rico looms large, casting a shadow over the future of not just Diddy and Jay-Z, but the entire music industry. Will federal prosecutors uncover enough evidence to bring down these music moguls, or will they emerge unscathed from the storm of scandal and speculation? Only time will tell, but
But one thing's for sure, the stakes have never been higher in the world of entertainment gossip. Public opinion on the unfolding scandal surrounding Diddy, Jay-Z, and Beyonce is as divided as ever, with fans taking to social media to express their thoughts on the matter. If you think Jay-Z and Beyonce got to where they are because they are honest and nice people, you're living under a rock, one fan commented, reflecting a sentiment shared by many who believe that success in the entertainment industry often comes with a darker side. Another fan echoed these sentiments, stating, What's really sad is that too many people in the entertainment industry are allowed to do whatever they want with zero consequences for years or decades. Now it's your turn to sound off. We want to hear from you, our loyal viewers. Do you believe that success in the entertainment industry often comes with a darker side, as suggested by some fans? Or do you think there's still room for honesty and integrity? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled and your ears to the ground. You never know what scandal might break next. The crazy thing is a lot of those were swept under the rug, but just a simple Google search will verify all of my claims of his crimes. Now these are the Diddy shootings. Now make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and watch this whole entire video so that you don't miss nothing. Now Diddy has a bunch of bodies under his belt and a few survivors. Now let's talk about first the most recent shooting that occurred in a Los Angeles recording studio involving his son Justin the devil's offspring. Now the music producer Little Rod who was suing Diddy is doubling down on some daunting allegations that Diddy and his son were involved in a shooting at a Los Angeles recording studio back in 2022 as well as of course the allegations of harassment that's been all over the internet. Now Diddy was sued on February 26 by Rodney Little Rod Jones a producer on his most recent album who alleged Combs sexually harassed drugged and threatened him while he traveled and lived with Combs from September 2022 to November 2023. In the initial complaint filed in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York, Little Rod also detailed a shooting at a writer's and producer's camp at Chalice Recording Studio in Los Angeles on September 12, 2022. In addition to that, he also alleges that Diddy's son, Justin, and Justin's friend identified in the court documents as G was also there. Now, the lawsuit alleges that Combs is part of a RICO enterprise and that he and others are involved in an ex-trafficking venture. Now, RICO enterprise is one in which people or groups act together to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, which is meant to target organized crime. Now, the complaint is the latest legal trouble for Diddy, who has been hit with a number of recent lawsuits, including multiple allegations of assault. Now, the complaint filed by Little Rod accounts that he heard multiple gunshots after a heated conversation in a nearby bathroom at the recording studio. When the bathroom door opened, Diddy and his son walked out and Little Rod found G lying on the restroom floor in a fetal position, holding his stomach and bleeding out his leg hip area, the lawsuit said. Little Rod said he helped the victim up and took him to the front of the studio where an ambulance was waiting out front for him. So far, the Los Angeles Fire Department has not responded to multiple requests for more information regarding the shooting. Now get this, Little Rod also alleges in the suit that Diddy instructed him to lie to the police and tell them that Diddy or his son had nothing to do with the shooting and that it had occurred while G was outside the studio by a drive-by assailant. Now, Little Rod is standing by his accounts and maintained that G was not shot outside Chalice, but actually inside the bathroom. Now, Chalice Recording Studio is also staying mute on the shooting as they were possibly potentially paid off by Diddy and they are not cooperating with releasing any surveillance tapes. Now, reportedly, the studio was contacted by NBC News and they issued a questionable comment. Chalice Recording Studio is alleged to have sent an unnamed person stating the shooting occurred a half a block away from Chalice and it was the result of a robbery. They also said there are police reports corroborating this and to please wait for facts to come out before you start contributing to the defamation of our organization. Now Chalice also said when LAPD arrived on the scene, it was immediately determined conclusively that the shooting took place some distance from the studio. Now more information in the complaint also states citing a media report that claimed G went to the studio after he was shot. But Little Rod's original suit indicates police were inside Chalice and witnessed the blood in the bathroom, but still went along with the bogus claim that the shooting took place outside of the studio. Now that definitely sounds corrupt. 
Now included in the original filing are screenshots reportedly showing the aftermath of the restroom where G was shot by either Diddy or Justin Combs. Now Little Rod also claims that he has the clothing he wore the day of the shooting, which he says could have the potential DNA of the shooting victim. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. According to Davis, the lawsuit has not only damaged Diddy's reputation, but has also thrust him into the crosshairs of a legal storm before a shred of evidence has been presented. The lawsuit has single-handedly irreparably damaged the individual defendants' reputations and their standing in the community, Davis asserted, highlighting the destructive power of unfounded allegations in today's hyper-connected world. And as Diddy gears up for the fight of his life, the question on everyone's lips remains, will he emerge victorious or will the scandal tarnish his legacy forever? Amidst the whirlwind of legal battles and scandalous revelations, more shocking details have emerged, further entangling Diddy in a web of controversy and speculation. Allegations have surfaced regarding Diddy's recording practices, unveiling a disturbing pattern of behavior that adds another layer of intrigue to this already sordid tale. Replete with very, very serious and salacious allegations, uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his- Kessie, the former girlfriend of the rap mogul, dropped bombshell accusations, detailing how Diddy allegedly coerced her into participating in what he called freak-offs with male sex workers. These revelations paint a chilling picture of manipulation and control within their relationship, casting a shadow over Diddy's public persona. And I remember, like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but like, I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. But the drama doesn't end there. Lil Rod, who recently sued Diddy, echoed similar sentiments, claiming that Diddy had an obsession with recording himself in compromising situations, including illegal activities. With allegations of hidden cameras scattered throughout his properties, Diddy finds himself under intense scrutiny, with every revelation fueling speculation about the extent of his involvement in these illicit activities. And then there's the jaw-dropping revelation involving none other than the power couple themselves, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Rumors abound that Diddy may have recordings featuring the Carters in compromising situations, adding a new dimension to an already explosive scandal. While the thought of Queen Bey and Jay-Z caught in such a scandal seems too wild to be true, insider sources suggest otherwise, leaving fans and critics alike reeling from the sheer audacity of it all. But after that major documentary comes out on Diddy, then you're going to start to hear more and more about Jay-Z and his nefarious past. But why would Diddy take such a risk by releasing these recordings? Some suggest it's a strategic maneuver to shield himself from looming legal repercussions, while others argue it's a last ditch effort to retaliate against Jay-Z for what he sees as a betrayal. But what's the whole story? According to insiders, Diddy feels betrayed because Jay-Z, his closest confidant, has distanced himself and avoided contact since legal troubles arose. Regardless of the motives, one thing is certain, Diddy's actions have triggered a domino effect of events that have rocked the entertainment industry to its very foundation. And speaking of foundation, shaking, it seems like Diddy isn't the only one feeling the heat. The scandalous tapes allegedly involving Jay-Z and Beyonce have sent shockwaves through the music industry and beyond. But amidst the chaos, one can't help but wonder, what does this mean for the power couple's seemingly unshakable marriage? What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. Rumors have been swirling for years about cracks in the facade of Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship. From the infamous elevator incident involving Solange to whispers of infidelity, the Carters have weathered their fair share of storms. But could this latest scandal be a straw that breaks the camel's back? Sources close to the couple suggest that Beyonce, in particular, may be feeling the pressure, with impending legal troubles looming over Jay-Z. Speculation is rife that Queen Bey might be considering a strategic distance from her husband. Could this be a sign of trouble in paradise, or simply a move to protect her own reputation? In light of recent allegations from R&B singer Jaguar Wright claiming that Beyonce is held captive by Jay-Z, the plot thickens even further. Things have just gone from bad to worse for Diddy. And now not only is he being accused of misconduct, but his son is being accused. Now his son, Christian King Combs, he's only 26 years old. And he was named in a lawsuit by a young woman, 25 year old named Grace, who was working on a yacht in December, 2022. When she says that Christian Combs uh, assaulted her, that he's tried groping her, that he trapped her in a room and that it was it wasn't until another crew member came to stop it that she was finally released she said that she was forced to take a tequila shot and there's actual audio of that incident where she asks is this drugged and he says take the tequila shot the allegation is that combs aided and abetted his son in this attack but what i want to ask you about bernarda villalona is 
the audio tape that Kayla Brantley's talking about. Can I see Bernarda, please? Bernarda, to get a video or an audio tape, even if it's a 911 call from the police for Pete's sake, the prosecutor or whoever wants to bring it in has to go through a series of evidentiary hoops. In fact, it's laid out in black and white in the criminal code. You have to prove veracity. You've got to show who made the audio. Sometimes why did they make the audio in, uh, as the circumstances surrounding the audio being made? Um, you have to show chain of custody on the audio to make sure it hasn't been tampered with in any way. So when I say who made it, where did it come from? That's got to be proven in court before it can be allowed before a jury. Yeah, so supposedly it was Little Rod. Ronnie Jones was the one who made this recording, which calls calls into question is why he was making a recording and he knew what was going to happen. So he did it thinking that it was going to happen and he wanted evidence of it. Interestingly enough that the attorney that's representing Ronnie Jones is the same attorney that's representing this complaint and this victim in this alleged sexual assault. But this is very damning evidence because usually in cases like this, Nancy, What's the number one defense? Credibility, believability. She's making it up. This is a money grab. But here you have an actual audio recording that the complaining, the victim, is going to be able to authenticate and say, that is me on the recording. that it was my behavior was focused towards women it was i was carefree in front of groups and crowds of people if you see on that footage of me kissing the waitress i also kissed male bartenders i was high-fiving people going with bottle, bottle service for the countless time sean diddy combs has been hit by another major scandal as actor cuba gooding has sued him for leaking his making love tape Gooding Jr., who is fighting those allegations of groping a woman here in New York City. Well, tonight here, surveillance video obtained by TMZ. It is the latest lawsuit from countless others that has seen Diddy feature as the main character. This time, it wasn't for an assault, but for the leakage of a making love tape involving Cuba Gooding and one other superstar. Let's check it out. Somebody, not Cuba, but somebody else, had to tell her to please excuse herself. Sean Diddy Combs has been at the heart of myriad controversies in recent times, and his life is beginning to look like a movie series of endless scandals. These scandals became more intense following the raids on his properties by Homeland Security. This event has not only made Sean Diddy Combs become the headline of many news for very wrong reasons, but it has also renewed interest in a lawsuit filed against Sean Diddy Combs in February. Rodney Lil Rod Jones sued the 54-year-old and is asking for $30 million in damages after accusing Diddy of intercourse trafficking, abuse, forced drug use, fraud, and making love assault. The music producer claimed he has suffered psychologically since working with Diddy on his The Love Album Off The Grid record and that the music mogul failed to pay him for his efforts. The lawsuit has incriminated Diddy and other superstars like Cuba Gooding, Young Miami, and her cousin. However, it's Cuba Gooding who has made his comeback with a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, claiming Diddy was responsible for the leaked Making Love tape. Before we get into this, let's take a brief look at Jones's lawsuit, where it all began. Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed the lawsuit on Monday, March 25, 2024, in federal court, naming actor Cuba Gooding Jr., along with Combs as perpetrators of intercourse assault, the lawsuit was topped with a red trigger warning for graphic information of an intercourse nature, as well as redacted images showing a shooting and minors. The lawsuit was filed the same day, and just a few hours after Homeland Security Investigations agents raided Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Miami, Jones said in the lawsuit that he was first introduced to Combs on August 20th, 22, when a representative asked him to produce songs on a forthcoming R&B album to be called The Love Album Off The Grid. According to the lawsuit, Mr. Jones agreed, and his life has been detrimentally impacted ever since. It's very scary um, for myself, and you know, it has me worried about my kids, and you know, just sleeping with anxiety and, and different things like that. So, just moving forward. When Jones began working with Combs in Sept 2022, he said that he lived with the celebrity for months and was not allowed to leave to return to his family for birthdays, major family events, or holidays. While producing nine songs for the album, Jones alleged that he was witness to, and in fact, forced to record, hundreds of hours of criminal activity that included drug use and intercourse with prostitutes. Notably, Jones previously named Gooding in his February lawsuit, 
accusing the actor of intercourse, harassing and assaulting him on a yacht rented by Combs, 54, in the U.S. Virgin Islands in January 2023. Gooding wasn't listed as a defendant until now. Cuba Gooding Jr. has been accused of intercourse assault and intercourse harassment in a lawsuit originally filed by music producer Lil Rod last month. Y'all, the evidence was found and some people didn't want to believe me. The truth is, I'm a little disappointed that you don't trust me. Now, just 24 hours ago, I released a video letting y'all know the feds indeed found some evidence in the raid. I do not clickbait, so if Lionel B says it happened, it happened. Well, just four hours ago, it's been reported exactly what was found, and I'm going to share that in this video today. Now, if you love breaking news with humor and high quality, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and watch this whole entire video as it helps me deliver great content to y'all. Now, it was just discovered that the rapper Young Miami and 50 Cent's baby mama Daphne Joy was on payroll for Diddy as sex workers. 50 Cent responded to finding out his baby mama was involved and said, I didn't know you was a sex worker. Joy, you little sex worker. LOL, hey yo, this shit is a movie. That's awful that their son has to witness this crazy stuff being exposed on the internet. It was revealed that Young Miami was delivering Diddy bumps of coke via private jets to help Diddy do it with his insane addiction habit. Now court records are exposing several high profile people that's involved with Diddy and it appears that the list is getting longer and longer. It's too long for me. Now, Cat Williams and Sloan Bella did reveal that Diddy was going to go down. Uh, big de deviance is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. But she's... We didn't know it was gonna be this bad. Now the feds are building a dead to rights case against Diddy that is going to put him away forever. Now initially a lot of celebrities spoke out saying Diddy's raid was a witch hunt. Look at who is wishing this dude fail. You know what I'm saying? It's his own people. It's his own people cheering him, laughing, and Diddy did it and coming up with new slogans for him. It's his own people, man. Like so Take note of this. Man, you would think the mother he thought a year or two ago when we were popping Ciroc, he thought that we would ride or die for him, man. Like he thought that the motherfucking world of hip hop would stay down and over, you know, especially without him having a case. Like, especially without him having a case, he would think, hey man, they're gonna ride for me. I, I live for this hip hop shit. I live and die this shit. The hip hop community is gonna ride for my innocence. He would assume, I'm sure. Say if he did that, then whatever he get, he get. But so far, I haven't seen no criminal charges. So out for that, I'ma just sit back and hope for the best. You know, I don't want to see nobody go down, man. And for people to celebrate that, love that, want to see that, I don't want anyone to confuse me for. I mean, last night before I went to sleep, I was praying. I found myself praying for Diddy's kids. I was thinking about Justin and Christian Combs and thinking about the twins who go to school with my daughter. Um, they, my daughter and his twins have been at pretty much every birthday party. And then I'm just thinking to myself, see a lot of people will go after Diddy, beat him down for whatever he's either did or being accused of, uh, allegedly. Uh, and, and then it's all about him, right? And I was thinking about the family. I was thinking about the kids. I was thinking about the stress of yesterday I went home and all of a sudden I'm in handcuffs at the house. It's, it's, it's just trying my best to see things through the lens of the kids, not just him specifically. And then I wanted him to know, irregardless of what he's being accused of and going through, as Minister Louis Farrakhan said, when a man is down, don't laugh at him. Don't make a mockery of him. Don't beat him down. Don't beat him down with your words. You don't have to agree with what somebody did. You don't have to even want to be associated with what somebody did. But everybody deserves prayer. Now <laughs> 
That's what that's what we doing out here. Even if that is an AI recorder, that's not them. That's still wild to me. <laughs> I feel like the entertainment contract is like you you fucking or no. Like you want your butt played in or no. You're some no sign here in blood. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling at this point because why is it everybody? And if you gay, that's fine. Be gay, but you ain't gotta perpetrate my way in the name of Jesus. And I think what make me even more mad, like, wait, why they don't give us dick like that? Like y'all selfish. Like if you're not hitting it like like Diddy's he hitting Mick Mills, I don't want it. <laughs> Cause that thing sound like it's smack. That's the thing that had you cooking breakfast, okay? Having a meal, talking about some. You hungry, daddy? <laughs> he definitely called him daddy in the fall. 